Oh my god. You guys... I don't know what to say. You did it in two weeks. We're at 3k now. You got from 2k to 3k in two weeks. Well, 13 days to be exact. That's not even two weeks. I don't want to be saying anything. But let's get to 5k. So today I have quite an interesting video for you. This is going to actually be very, very interesting because I don't think I've seen videos about this. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be finding out whether you can play VR on completely unsupported hardware. Now, just in case you don't know, the minimum requirements for VR is an Intel i3-6100, an AMD Ryzen 3 1200, or an FX-4350 or greater. You need a minimum of 8GB of RAM and you need a minimum of a GTX 1050 Ti i or an rx 470 the part that we will be focusing on today is the gpu so just before we begin this video super fast you guys have brought the number of people watching these videos that are subscribed all the way up to 6.3 percent which is absolutely insane you guys are amazing so if you guys like this video and you're part of that 93.7 percent of people that aren't subscribed yet i post tech videos daily and vr videos on mondays and fridays follow me on my social media here and here because i really want to get suggestions from you guys and hear what you want to see ding my bell become part of the 360p gang and let's move on to the video. So I did that super fast. I didn't want to be annoying you guys any longer since you are already just incredible. We have this. So this is basically the least supported GPU in this entire house. Currently what I'm running inside my computer is an RX 5700 XT, which is supported and it does just so good, just so good. Today we're going to be swapping out my beautiful 5700 XT, my pride, my love for this thing and seeing whether we can run VR. So now I need to shut down my PC, so I don't know what's going to happen to audio quality. I hope it's not too bad. Let's try it out. Yeah, you know what? It would probably have been handy if I clicked record. Great. So basically we're swapping my beast, which is my love and my pride. This, this three fan monster with like two power connectors out for this little thing. <laughs> Let's put that in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, computer. We've run into another problem. This graphics card only has one display port and uh, I need two. So we are going to need to use HDMI. So things are gonna look a little ugly, but hey, that's just a theory. So let's flick the switch and uh, see what happens. Where is it? Okay, well, the power's on. <laughs> oh, we have life. Oh God, oh God, oh. <laughs> The resolution. Oh, beautiful. Okay, guys, this is it. <laughs> we have exchanged my beautiful, beautiful. It, it, it's fine. Let's just leave it there. Okay. Um, we've we've replaced my very expensive GPU with the less expensive one, and we have not dropped my very expensive GPU while we were at it. Why, 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 why would you sign me out of Steam, why? A lot of you were requesting this, so. <sighs> I made it happen. Let's install these drivers and, and see what happens, because that's what we're here for. It's all the fun and games.
I'm gonna like tap the inside of the Rift S and let's see whether the Oculus software actually turns on. Oh shit. <laughs> Would you like to set up your Rift? Interesting. Your computer doesn't meet Rift's minimum requirements. You might have a shitty time playing VR. Well, that's what we're here to find out. Display port connection not working. Oh no, don't tell me. Yes. No. What? Display port connection not working. Okay, um, we might need to reinstall the drivers. Okay, so looks like a little more troubleshooting, guys. Just a little more troubleshooting. Oh, that was weird. Okay. It says connected. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't anymore. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on the headset. The only possible way to actually see if this works. Like, who cares what the software says? The software is almost never correct. Well, looks like it was correct. Shit. Guys, this is unbelievable. So, can you use the Rift S? No, you can't. But, I have a plan B. <laughs> Brand new update came out just like yesterday or something that allows for me to use literally any cable with this. No. I nailed it. So here we have the original cable that came with the Quest. Uh, that's quite unfortunate because I've got one of these magnetic connectors, which means I need to take them out. We're gonna try using this. So again, this isn't my preferred way to play. My preferred way to play is fully wireless, but... So what does this say? Set up Oculus Link. Oh, for I'm not in the public test chat. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause this recording because it's gonna take like years. Okay, you guys, so this update is about to finish. So I'm going to rotate you so that you can actually see me in VR. This seems to be currently a success, but has to be seen. So the Oculus menu has shown up. This is the PC VR menu. It is laggy as all hell. Like, the lag is unbelievable. You guys can't see this, so I'm going to launch Steam VR, or at least try to. Oh, I think this might be because I'm video recording, I don't know. It's instantly a lot better within Steam VR, actually. Zero lag. Okay, and now it's lagging. It's throwing me into the home environment. Yes, we're launching Beat Saber. Okay, I cannot be recording the screen. I'm gonna show you guys the screen, because I cannot be recording the screen, because, um... It lags to all hell. Okay, so I have reinstalled Beat Saber. We have success. <laughs> Guys, I didn't think this would work. Well, let's try be play Beat Saber. So this is on the Link 2.0. I think that's going to conclude it for this experiment. Um, can you play VR on an unsupported graphics card? Yes, yes, yes you can. And I mean, uh, Beat Saber, brilliant, 10 out of 10. Can you play the Rift S on it? No. Uh, it just doesn't see the DisplayPort connection no matter how hard you try. You can, however, play the Quest both wirelessly and connected through the link, and it just works pretty flawlessly. Uh, unless you actually go into a more intensive game, then it starts lagging. But, but, if you want to get into VR and you're only going to be playing simple games and you don't have the graphics for it, or you already have a quest and you'd like to play a little bit of PC games, and, for example, you have this exact graphics card, it works. And it, it is a nice beginning. It, um, you can start off on it. So can it be done? Yes. Is it a way to start yourself off on VR? Technically. Would I recommend it? Oh no. <laughs> no. But yeah, this was a fun little experiment. It's nice to know that yes, in fact, you could be playing Beat Saber on this card, and you could be starting off very simple games on this graphics card, or one higher. Um, because I believe this is a lot lower than the 1050 Ti. So like even the 1050 might be much more capable than this thing. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Again, you guys are absolutely insane. Thank you so much for getting this channel to 3000 subscribers. I still can't believe it. And uh, if you like the video and you're part of that 93.2% of people that aren't yet part of this community and you're into tech and VR, make sure to subscribe.
Again, I'm posting daily for you guys. Ding that bell, become part of the 360p gang. We might need to rebel. I believe YouTube will not process my videos in 360p anymore, and they just instantly go to 4K. Very unfortunate. I mean, who wants to watch the videos in 4K? We're all here for the 360p. Follow me on my social media here and here. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Once again, if you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.